It's true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I guess that in hiding it from you, I was able to hide away my feelings as well. I think for Grandma it was too painful to talk about. I believe she took possession of the shrine in order to live a simpler life. We had to keep it secret. There's no way we could live a normal life with the stigma of the Kamen Kai attached to us. I suppose keeping that secret hurts both dearly. For me, pursuing Kendo gave me some measure of control over my life again. But Grandma, who made a choice to leave her only daughter behind, she always seemed to carry the guilt of it with her. She started going out at night, babbling about how she was looking for Mum. When she'd come home, she would have a rotten stink on her clothes. I I was too scared to confront her, so I tipped off the police. They found her wandering in the sewers, holding nothing but the mask. The same one from the cult compound all those years before, and the one you hold now. I was shocked when they gave it to me. I hadn't seen it for so long, and all the unpleasant memories from my past came flooding back. That was when I decided to leave Kamakura. It was the only way I could move on with my life. That doesn't account for how the mask ended up with your grandmother in the first place. I don't know how she got it. It seemingly appeared out of thin air. Or maybe someone gave it to her. She never said. I left the mask with her. It always made me uneasy. It had a strange aura about it. But wait, Grandma was looking for Mom in the sewers? I don't remember any of this. You were in the dorms at your school at the time. Grandma's strange behavior was part of why I insisted on you going to those private schools away from Kamakura. I couldn't drag you into the madness of our past. We parted ways without ever speaking of it and she was much better by the time you returned to Kamakura. Detective, what exactly is it you're looking for? Surely our family's history isn't of use to you. I assume you've heard of about what happened to my partner. This mask was there again when he died. It's more than an ornament. I need to know where it came from. If that's true, then I want to help. Your partner, he... he seemed like a nice person. No, Ma, you've helped plenty, but I have to do this on my own. Ito is right. I apologize for not telling you all of this sooner but you can't be involved in something so dangerous. I already thought I'd lost you that day at the shrine. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you now. All right, thank you for finally telling me th for finally telling me the truth, Takashi. I'll head back for now. Hope you remember that I'm your sister. I may not remember the same things you do, but we're still family. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for your help, Mai. You're right, Mai. I'll come visit you soon. It looks like she's gone. Mai's not here. There's no need to be coy. No doubt taking possession of that mask has taken its toll on you. Even in the brief time I was in contact with it, I felt an immense darkness behind it. I had such strange dreams and saw things I never would have dreamed of on my own. There was always an unusual air about it that I couldn't stand to be around. Maybe lying to Mai again makes me a hypocrite. All I know is I don't want her getting hurt. But like you said, I don't believe that mask is simply wooden paint. Though I doubt anyone else would believe us. No one ever did, except for one man. On this street, there's an old tea shop. Perhaps you saw it on the way in. An old historian named... Uh... Yasuhisa? is that occasionally, he was the only one who ever acknowledged what I said about the mask as truth. If you're looking for information on the mask, he may be the best person to, to ask. I never pursued the topic with him, but I speak with him occasionally on other topics. His mind is awful of valuable information. Hopefully he can shed some light on what it really is. I hope so, but please detective, be careful. Hey! So we need to go to the tea shop now. I need to be a bit more professional because my professionalism has dipped into the negatives, which is never a good thing. Tea shop. How creepy is this place gonna be? Oh. The old historian. No, he's not even called that, he's called the historian. Jeez. Welcome, come in. Do sit down, no need to be so formal and stand there like a statue. How can I help you? Are you Yasuhisa? Takashi told me to come speak with you. Oh, and how is Mr. Kawana? Still prickly as ever, I suppose? I've always found him to be wise beyond his years, though perhaps not by choice. I digress. My apologies. It's the quirks that come with old age, you know. What does Mr. Kawana think I can help you with? I'm looking into a few things related to... Uh, the Kamen Kai, the group his family got mixed up in. Ah, a more difficult answer than you might expect. You see, there are two groups that share that name. First, well, the first, as you know, is the religious group formed by the Guru Tokimasa. The second is an ancient order over a thousand years old. What's that you're holding? I was told it's related to the Kamen Kai, uh, the newer one, and that you could tell me about it. Ah, that explains many things, child. The far off look in your eyes, for one. I imagine you have many, many questions. Masks are interesting, are they not? They are meant to be a disguise, and yet a mask cannot lie or contort itself to hide the truth. In that sense, it is the mask that is more truthful than the human faces we hide underneath them. I wonder how you came to be in, in possession of an object with such a dark history. 
I think it might be related to a missing person, but I don't know anything about it beyond that. Ah, but that itself is the essence of history, layers upon layers of personal connections that are continuously peeled back to their root. <laughs> Relics like the one you hold often take unusual routes to where they end up. Relic? If it's from the Kamen Kai cult from the 90s, then I'd hardly call it a relic. Misguided and deceptive as he was, Takemasa was no fool. In order to gain new followers, he needed to give his cult historical legitimacy. He collected obscure objects and gave them new meaning, or new meanings, that he could control in order to manipulate his followers. The mask was what he chose, along with the name of the group that created it. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. Only, I guess I was hoping you could tell me some other things about it. For instance? Like why? Hmm. Now that I'm about to say it out loud, it sounds silly. I'm sorry I bothered you. Don't be silly. You wonder, for example, why holding the mask seems to take you to another place. Or perhaps why you see visions that don't seem real. Why you feel a strong will exerting itself on you. Oh yes, I know all about those things too. How could you know about that? When Takemasa was in possession of it, he believed it showed him a path to the realms of the gods. Or the realm of the gods. He wrote extensively on the subject. Though, unlike most, I don't discount such phenomena as the ravings of a madman with the phenomena repeat when the pheno phenomena repeats itself. Do you too look into the inky blackness and see familiar shapes in the shadows? Not shadows. I see and hear people who are supposed to be dead. I find things I couldn't possibly have found otherwise. Hmm, most interesting. Tell me, detective. Oh, apologies. Do you mind if I call you that? I don't remember telling you I was a de detective. Ha, <laughs> my mistake. You must forgive me. A slip of the tongue. I believe it was the way you carried yourself. Determined investigators such as yourself have a sense have such a sense of purpose in their mannerisms, you see. And you do seem rather determined to get to, to get to the bottom of whatever it is you're chasing. Tell me. Does me telling you that your experience experiences are not an illusion provide or provide you any level of comfort? I'm not sure, but I do feel something. Maybe hope. It's like I finally got a foothold on solid ground. Ah yes, knowledge is a light in dark places, is it not? To think a relic of such import would end up with a detective. Do you mind if I ask you something? Which do you believe? Are our lives controlled by fate, pre-measured threads that determine our deeds, our wishes and our ends the minute we come into existence? Or, conversely, is our thread subject to the chaos inherent in our universe instead? Does it change according to our deeds and that which happens to us seemingly by accident? Do you believe it is fate or chance that decides which threads of life are cut short and which are followed? Ooh, fate or chance? Yeah, both really. Hmm. I'll go with fate. Yes, of course. Maybe you feel your life has been somewhat out of your control as of late. Control, huh? To be honest, I don't feel like I've had much of that since the mask came to me. You said that the mask was made by the old Kamenkai. Why? Confusing me can't be the purpose it was made for. Ah uh, yes, a more complicated answer than you might have wished for. Indeed, it should come as no surprise that the creation of such a mysterious object is equally enigmatic. Perhaps you could do me a favour. Don't worry, it's in relation to this very topic. An important book has gone missing from my shop. If you could retrieve it from, for me, I feel it could shine a great deal of light on the subject. What kind of book? A book of the missing variety. Ha! Huh, I'm sorry, I jest. It, con it concerns the mask bearer. Mask bearer? Huh. That's, uh, that's me, right? Although you carry it, that does not make you its bearer. All will become clear uh, clear when the book is returned to me. Sounds easy enough. Where can I start looking? Oh, you needn't go far. The man who has it is right outside this building. In fact, as I said, it's not much of an errand, but I, of course, cannot leave my shop. He's right outside? This won't take long. I'll be right back. Okay. Just a random guy. <laughs> hmm. This guy. Ask about tea shop? The old tea shop next door, isn't that isn't that place closed closed down? Closed? That can't be right. What else do you know about it? Pure conjecture on this one, but I think it might be owned by the kendo instructor from the dojo down the street on account of him being the only one I ever see in there. You might not believe me, but I swear I saw him in there chatting away to himself. Oh no. Possibly he's a little nuts. Then again, it might be some super awesome kendo meditation technique. Oh man, why didn't I think of that before? Next time I ought to ask him for some pointers instead of spying on him, spying on him eh? Word through the grapevine is that he's a religious champion or something, and has trained some of the best. Lots of cops train with him too, so he must be good. Maybe he's not so crazy after all. Speaking of which, I have a bit of a crazy question for you. 
I know you said it was closed, but do you know anything about a book taken from there? Maybe recently? I was led to believe you would. I, uh, I... oh jeez. Go on. Like I said, the place has been empty for years, but you know I spend a lot of time outside it, and half the time the door's wide open. So one day, a few months back, I decided to take a look around. Nothing suspicious or nothing. I was just curious or not, is all. <coughs> Curiosity killed the cat, right? Anyway, it was all dusty and old, and there was all sorts of weird stuff laying around. So I might have taken a little souvenir. I mean, it wasn't super old or nothing, so I figured no one would miss it. Besides, it wasn't for me. It was for my kid brother. That guy can get deep in the dumps sometimes, so I try to be on standby for when that happens, you know? So I figure, I figured a little gift would cheer him up. Back then, he was going through some particularly tough times. His bitch wife, part of my language, or part of my language, miss, had left him and taken their kid daughter with her. He still doesn't talk about it like he's in denial or something. Oops, got off track again. I was heading to visit him with the uh, ill-gotten book when I got this phone call saying he was in the hospital. He OD'd on expensive sake and sleeping pills. Thank God that idiot decided to do it at the bar he owns with the door unlocked. A customer came in and called an ambulance. If it weren't for that, I'm not sure if he'd still be here. That's quite a story. Sounds to me like he wanted to be found. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was trying to ask for help in his own way. In any case, I took the book to him while he was in hospital, tried to show show him that even when he was in, or we, even when he was at his lowest, there was some, someone out there trying to do something nice for him, you know? I think it helped, for a minute anyhow. As soon as the doctors let him leave, he went right back to that toxic little bar. I hope he's okay, he's got issues, but my little brother... Oh, he's my little brother, and I worry about him. He's not been answering my phone calls lately. Originally, my brother's bitch ex-wife, sorry again, had the brilliant idea to put his skill to work in a cheap part of town. Despite that, he's holding on to it with everything he's got. The place is slowly bankrupt bankrupting him, but he won't let it go. All he has to do is sign some paper and move on, but he can't. Something about it has its claws sank deep into him. I've been trying to get him to join me in my business for years. He's a great chef, and we could make a killing. Maybe it's not the same as owning a whole bar, but serving passes or passes by and getting some sunshine is good for the soul. Plus, food stands are doing really well abroad, I hear. Much better than wasting away in Shinjuku, at any rate. Shinjuku? <gasps> it's Daiso! Yeah, in a slimy little side street. Anyway, if that book is important to you, he'll probably... He's probably still got it at his place. You want the address? Wait, I knew you looked familiar. Your brother's Daiso, right? You know him? Small world. That's probably the smile on my face that threw you off. Tell him his brother Haruto says hi. While you're at it, tell him that Takoyaki stands are still the future of cuisine and to get his butt over here. I'll do that. Thanks for all your help. It's Daiso! Of course. You know me a lot of cops when I set up here, and there's two things I've noticed. One, they are octofiends. Two, they are persistent. <laughs> I really want the octo shit. Give me it. Leave Azakusa. Never expected it to be Daiso. Huh. Well, I'll be. Hey! I'm looking around. I wonder if you can see it anywhere. Hey, Yami. How can I help you today? Hey, Daiso. How are things? Oh, <laughs> you know. Same old, same old. Funny thing. I met your brother while I was in Asakusa today. Haruto? You met Haruto? What are the chances? Who knows? Maybe it was preordained. Huh, who'd have thought? So, is he still selling takoyaki at a stand? Did he say anything? He is. He said to remind you that takoyaki stands are the future of cuisine and that you should go and help him. Huh, yeah, you've talked to Haruto, alright. Always the optimist, that guy. I actually have a favour to ask you. Do you still have the book your brother gave you a few months ago? Huh, <laughs> the only thing that guy gives gives me is headaches. Not sure if I can help you, Ayami. He said he gave it to you when you were in the hospital. Oh, I, uh... What makes you think I was in the hospital? I don't even go to the hospital for checkups. <laughs> Besides, that dolt's bringing me stuff all the time. Always trying to drag me kicking and screaming over to where the grass is greener. This would have been more recently. After a rough patch. Maybe it was stupid to come and ask? Oh, no, no, it's fine. <sighs> that idiot, always running his mouth. Friggin' traitor. <laughs> Those were just some, um, hard times. Nothing serious. <laughs> I just drank too much is all. <sighs> I'm sorry, detective. But I don't want to talk about it. Alright, understood. I'm not here to dig up back bad memories, Daiso. Thanks. You said you were looking for a book, right? Truth is, I don't remember a book. I do remember Haruto giving me an old magazine, though. Back in the hospital. 
It's one of those, or one of the ones I used to read when I was younger, when things weren't quite so complicated. Wait, wait there a second. I may have it in the storeroom still. Dang it. Sorry, Ayami. Hold on, hold on a sec. Amazing how much junk someone accumulates over the years. Maybe I should throw some of this old stuff out, huh? Here it is. Oh no. It's yours, detective. Huh. Hey, no wonder I recognize that photo you brought by. It's the same girl, an idol named Ruby. Raina. No, Ruby. See? It says so right there on the cover. Pretty crazy that it was still in my shop. Guess that means you're still looking for her. Hmm, I wonder why we keep running into each other. Must be fate. Eh, I don't buy it. You're a hell of a detective. You must have a pretty sharp nose. Huh, if you say so, Daiso. Do you mind if I take this? Like I said, it's yours. About time I started getting rid of some of my old junk. Thank you. See you around, Ayami. Take care, Daiso. Yay! Oh, that's awful, though. Because we know that that was the girls that were being used and abused by... Higashi, I think his name was. I can't remember, to be honest. I think it was Higashi. Hmm. I'm gonna try once more. Oh. That never increased my neurosis. Not one bit. Weirdly. Oh, welcome back, detective. Is that my book I see in your hands? Guess I'm a little surprised. Are you trying to tell me Raina is the mask bearer you talked about? That's hard to believe. Does it surprise you? After all, it is she who you see in the dark, is it not? The dark. That's what the collector called it, too. How did Raina get tied up in all this? I only know that fate has intertwined the girl's life with the, f with the forces in the mask. But the machinations behind those circumstances are a mystery, I'm afraid. Of course. People always see history as something in the distant past, involving old men and black and white pictures, but that book and that girl are as much a part of history as the rest. The threads that connect the past to the present and people to each other are not always apparent. But peel back the layers of connection and the randomness of our universe neatly orders itself. A teen idol, an ancient order, the tool they created, and the detective who holds it now all forming a neat and tidy line. Raina was some sort of idol living in Tokyo, not part of a sleeper cell or some cult. Or of some cult. It doesn't add up. Oh, that detective. We can agree. So, why don't we start at the beginning? To how the mask ceased to be a mere object. The story starts in ancient times in the year... 1333. One, one, three, three. So, 1000... Oh, 1333. That works. At that time, Kamakura was the capital of Japan. Led by the Hojo clan... It was a time of peace, prosperity, and enlightenment. Peace among men is cyclical, and like so many before them and so many after, the time of peace came to an end. The Nitta clan, loyal to Emperor Go-Daigo, led a siege against the Hojo-controlled Kamakura, taking the city as the tide receded, leaving a key passage open to the invaders. The Hojo clan fled to the caves of their family temple. For them, there was no hope of victory or escape. They chose to retain their honor. Instead of surrendering, the 870 Hojo Samurai, included, not including the last three regents, committed mass suicide. However, the Hojo and Nita clans, embroiled in their quests for empire, could not see the role they played in the plans of another group, the religious sect known as the Kamenkai. I don't know if it's Kamenkai or Kamenkai. It is said that in the flames of Kamakura, a girl was seen wandering the streets, observing the carnage of the burning city. A girl lost to the histories by the name of uh, Chikako so Chichijo? The last survivor of the Kamenkai. Okay. So whatever the Kamenkai were trying to do, they failed. I mean, they all die, right? Oh god! Uh, the little girl has a face! No, they did not fail. Everything went exactly as planned. So Chikako, Chichijo, I don't know how you say your name. Did not survive by chance, she was chosen. Chosen for what? To receive the blessing of all the spiritual energy that so much death afforded, to become the first Mask Bearer. Mask Bearer? The Kamen Kai used the deaths of all those people to create this? Why? Legend has it the Kamen Kai sought to contain the Daw, a rift leading to the spiritual realm, where our consciousness ceases to be and time holds no meaning, a place where cause and effect could be changed. Why? Why spend so much human life and give up so much to do that? 
to stop it from being abused. Imagine being able to see the world as a god, so that the flow of time and the rules which govern our world are of no consequence. This is the power of the door. To a mortal mind, obsessed with the finality of death and meaningless accomplishment, such power would corrupt absolutely a power over death. So a dark place was created to obscure the door then hide it from mortal eyes along with a tool to control and see within the darkness. It's true, all of it. It sounds like a fairy tale, but it's true. Finding the door could be the key to bringing Tanaka back. Some doors, no matter how strong they call to us, are not meant to be opened, and the common kind willingly gave their lives to keep it that way. The mask opens the mind to all who come in contact with it, but it is intended for its bearer. Using it to find the door may destroy you. Maybe you're right, but I could at least use it to find my way in the dark. Just like the Collector said, the only thing I don't get is how Rainer is connected to it. That is a mystery. As Mr. Kawana told you, the last known location of the mask was the Kamenkai cult only a few decades ago. Much was suppressed about the Kamenkai under, to uh, under Tokimasa. They existed, and then on March 4th, 19 uh, 1996, they met their end. There were, so oh, there were many theories that the police killed them during their raid of the compound, or that someone within the cult had snapped and murdered the others. Nothing but conjecture, I'm afraid. The real answer lies somewhere deep within police records, and though I remain curious, it is not something I have access to. Perhaps the best place to start is there. Finding out about the last days of the common kind may help light your path to the truth. Though I wonder if such an object bred from suffering can truly put an end to it. It is you, or is it you, who can finally break this terrible cycle? Ah, uh, I've, so I've spent a long time here. I'm tired. So tired. Farewell, detective. Well, I'll be. Downside is, it's seeming like we have to go back to the police HQ. Sitting there comfortably, the historian, uh, Yasuhisa, casually laid out everything that I've been experiencing like he was reading it out of a book. A mass suicide, ancient groups, and a door to the spiritual realm. It sounds like a myth, an interesting story to told to travellers in a bygone era. It's hard to believe that it relates to Kazuki and Reina. I can't see it. The bridge between the Kamakura samurai and a young girl. He said Raina fit into the story. She's a mask bearer. But how? Yes, so he's the collector. I thought when I'd met him, or met them, I'd entered their world and could start to understand, however faintly, but my intuition as a detective tells me they're hiding something from me still. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I need to keep going. What day is it, anyway? How long have I been chasing these leads? Day, day, turns, in, or day turns to night, the hours bleed into each other. Even the seasons don't seem to follow the natural order anymore. Everything's blurring together. Ugh, my head. Maybe I should take my medication. Impossible as it seems, following the old man's hunch is my best bet to finally understanding the mask. Even Takashi didn't ev uh, didn't know what happened to the Kamenkai. Finding the police report is the way forward. A few weeks ago, it would have been easy for me to ask around a pull a file. It'll be a bit more difficult now, I imagine. Hmm, what's the worst that can happen? I should head to police HQ and see what I can find. I want to go to my apartment first. Oops. I knew that was going to happen at least once. I clicked out of the game. Leave Asakusa. I can't go to my apartment! Fuck! Why not? Heh, <laughs> we're gonna ask for a favour. Yo, I need a file. Gimme. Oh shit. You've gotta be kidding me. Funny, me and some, other, some of the other guys were just talking about you after practice the other day. Specifically, we were talking... Uh, taking bets as to how long it would be before you showed your face again. Shame you coming in here now cost me 10,000 yen. Not that it matters. Ever since you left, things are looking up for me. I won the last apartment kendo tournament, and I've been enjoying my promotion. Oh yeah, thanks for the new office, by the way. Anyway, non-active non duty cops, or you, in other words, ain't allowed in HQ right now, so what do you want? Uh, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> go to hell! I need a favour. Oh man, this just gets better and better. Begging me for a favour, huh? Kinda figured you might someday. So, what do you want to do? Or want me to do, Ito? Sneak into the evidence locker, steal your gun back for you? Huh, like I'd do anything for you. The brass have already told everyone in the damn station to cl steer clear of you. You're considered bad luck for people's careers. Well, myself excluded, I suppose. Wouldn't expect anyone to do you any favours from here on out if I were you. And I'd rather not people see us talking and thinking, or, and think that we're all friendly or something. Now get out before I have to call someone down here. Fuck. Oh no! Threaten with violence? No, 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 no. That'd only fuck me over even further, would it not? I can go back to Asakusa. 
Wait. Hmm. So I'm only allowed to go back here. Ah, okay. I have to get the kendo tournament, don't I? Yeah, I still can't buy octopus balls. Yeah, I have to go to the kendo dojo. And talk with... what's his face? I'm guessing? Hmm, I'm surprised to see you back. How can I help you, detective? Oh, the historian. What is he? I spoke to... uh... Yasuhisa, the historian. Oh, good. And? Takashi, what is he? Hmm? I don't understand your question. He... he's one of them. Them, Ito. Are you alright? He's just an old man. What else would he be? No, Takashi, you must have noticed. There's something off about him. Like the Collector, but no, not exactly like him. I'm not sure what Yasuhisa told you to scare you like this, but I've known him for years. He's a bit eccentric and too philosophical for his own good, but he's harmless. Allow me to offer some advice. What you're feeling right now, it's not him. It's you. The more time I spent researching the Kamenkai in the past, the more I began to feel the world had gone mad. But it didn't. It continued to turn on its axis, as it always does. It was me who'd, who had became unhinged. Uh, you could always walk away, Detective Ito. Some mysteries aren't worth solving. You train police? I was told your dojo trains a lot of people in the in the police. That's right, I train many of them personally. Okay. Do you know Akira Tyra, a detective from Tokyo HQ? Ah yes, Detective Tyra. I know him quite well. A man with a great deal of innate talent in martial arts. Though that talent is, is offset... ...somewhat by his... How to put this? Brash personality. Brash is a very diplomatic way to put it. Sorry to put you on the spot, but Tyra is about the only usable link I've got left in the police. Or police force. And the one person who's trying to stop me the most. Seeing as you train with him all the time, I was hoping you might, um... ...know something that would change his mind, if you know what I mean. Are you asking me to help you blackmail Tyra? Beyond the obvious reasons why I wouldn't help you do that, I also happen to think it won't work. You may be surprised to hear this, but Detective Tyra actually lives a fairly straightforward life. His excesses are nothing that would draw any scrutiny, at least not among his fellow officers. I hear he is engaged to be married soon as well. Someone actually agreed to marry that slime? The poor girl. Yes, yeah, a very nice girl. Apparently they're quite happy together. Oh yeah? Hmm. We'll see how long that lasts. May I ask what exactly Tyra did to you to make you feel so strongly? it to me. Ha! Huh, you should be asking him that. Ever since I started, he's looked down on me. and never missed a chance to remind me of how he felt. I ignored him because I figured it if I worked hard enough and earned my promotion, that it would shut him up once and for all. He eventually got this promotion, I take it. Well, did he shut up like you thought? No, he got worse. It started with him spreading rumours about me sleeping around in HQ. And then there were the various complaints to my supervisor. He couldn't stand that I'd won. It's all fallen apart now, though. He got my old job, and every time I see him, he has that smug grin on his stupid face like he's mocking me. Hmm, so you hate the fact that, at least in his mind, he was right. Something like that. Tyra is not the first person to think a woman didn't deserve the promotion I got, but it stung a little extra when he ended up at my desk. Hmm, yes, I thought as much. You're not saying you think... You're not saying you think that brown-nosing, womanizing, lazy, good-for-nothing asshole actually deserves my spot, are you? No, I can't judge the inner workings of a police force, but from what I've heard, it certainly wouldn't be the first time an officer didn't earn their promotion honestly. Often I watch my students spar and I always notice an interesting trend. You see, usually the outcomes of matches have nothing to do with their skill. Is there a moral at the end of the story? Patience, Ito. You see, two students will face each other, but before they even draw their swords, they've decided the outcome. Students rank each other in themselves based on practice, their social status, their schools, or any number of things before they even enter my dojo. A student perceiving himself as stronger will always be more relaxed, more ready to attack, while the student who res who's resigned themselves to defeat desperately defends. It's not skill or merit that wins the battle, it's expectations. Do you see where I'm going with this? I do, but I'm not sure if I like it. You're saying that unless I can break Tyra's perception of me, I'll keep losing, right? Exactly. For a man like Tyra who expects certain things of, of women, you've defied him at every turn, but... If I suck up to him and play the part, it might throw him off guard enough for me to win this fight. Sounds about right. Very perceptive. Here. This should help. Sake. It's a gift. Wow, that's so flattering. I barely even know you. I suppose in order to degrade myself to scum like Tyra, I could use a drink. It's not for you. It's for Tyra. Oh, and here I was thinking you were being nice. This is a very expensive brand. As a matter of fact, it's Tyra's favourite. A gift for his promotion. 
A promotion he stole, a promotion into my position. Think of it as a way to throw him off balance. You can't strike at his heart until he drops his guard, after all. You know how to play the role he expects of you. I suggest you know the type of woman he likes. Hmm, much as it pains me to admit, that might work. Thanks for the sake. Yay, I knew it. Drink it. <laughs> wow, I could just say fuck that. <laughs> Screw you, Tyra. I drunk your drink. It's mad now. Right, so we have to congratulate congratulate him on his promotion. Oh, we have to brown nose him. No! That sucks. <sighs> oh, oh wow, I got 10 for professionalism. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm sorry. That's it, Ito. I've had enough of your... Wait, what? You heard it right, Tyra. I'm sorry. You're a good detective, and I never did congratulate you on your promotion. Here, this is for you. Heh, <laughs> I get it. So you think bribing me is gonna work, huh? Ke Ken no Michi? Is that a bottle of Ken no Michi? No way, it sells out in weeks. Even my family rarely managed to get a bottle, and they knew the people to ask. How'd you get it? That's not important. Consider it an apology for how I've treated you in the past. I present this to you as a way to formally hand over my old position to you. It's clearly in better hands now. I... but... Oh, wow. Ito. Sit up, will ya? Ito, it's fine. Just sit up already. Okay, okay. I accept your apology. Hell, didn't know you felt that way. I mean, in light of recent events and all, it's long overdue. Guess with all the uh, stress you've gone through, the delay is understandable. Glad you finally learned to manage your emotions appropriately. Thank you for your kind words, Detective Tyra. Once I return to the department, I know I'll have much to learn from you. Hey, hey, it's a little early for that talk, don't you think? We don't even know if they'll let you back on the force after the hearing. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Detective. Shouldn't 